What's up my YouTube family? How are you guys doing? Dr. Greg here back with another episode of Braces Explained. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, little exciting update. I'm going to be more active on my Instagram account where I'm going to be sharing progress of patient cases and a little bit of my personal life. So if you guys want, I'm going to put a link to my Instagram in the description of this video. Please go ahead and check me out there and follow. If this is your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all my content. Today what we're going to be talking about are closing loops. So let's go. So I've discussed in many videos different ways of how we can close space. We've discussed power chains, coil springs, and today what we're going to be talking about are closing loops. And these are little loops that are bent into the main wire that are used to close the space between teeth. These are often used when you've had an extraction and you have to close up the gap that was created now that that tooth is missing. There can be segmental closing loops which don't touch your front teeth at all, or there can be closing loops that are continuous which go across the whole front teeth. The way these closing loops work is that they create a spring in the main wire that we can activate at each appointment and as the spring wants to return back to its original shape, it closes the gap between your teeth. Let's take a look a little bit closer which will help make this a little bit more clear. So what I'm going to do is show you guys how I bend a closing loop. What we're going to do is create a closing loop that's just behind these front teeth and imagine that there was a gap behind them and we were trying to bring them backwards, okay? So looking at it a little bit closely, this is what the closing loop will look like. This is the coil, and this little loop is used to tie it back. I'll show you how we activate the closing loops in a second, but first we have to make sure that we tie this wire in so that it doesn't move. So as you can see here, everything is tied in. Now, as I pull this loop further back by tightening this wire, this loop's gonna tighten up and cause a spring to be formed. So let me show you what this looks like. If you can see over here, this spring is loaded up and it wants to return back to its original shape. In wanting to do that, what will happen is these front teeth will pull backwards and the back teeth will move forward and it will close up the gap that we have, assuming that we have an extraction. You see that? So as this spring wants to return to its original shape, it's going to want to bring these front teeth back. To show you what it looks like, I'm going to go ahead and cut this little wire and show you how much it wants to spring backwards. Do you see how much that moved forward and it returned to its original shape? So basically while this is in your mouth, it's going to constantly want to return to the shape, but that wire is going to hold it so that it doesn't. And in doing so, it's going to close up the gaps that are there between your teeth. So these little loops sometimes tend to pinch on your gums, so it's really important to make sure that you keep your teeth and gums really clean when you're in closing loops. Because if you don't keep your teeth clean and your gums get puffy, it's almost guaranteed that these will pinch into your gums, so please, please make sure you brush your teeth super well. So this is just another type of way of closing space. There's different types of mechanics that we use in orthodontics, and your orthodontist might use either a power chain or different types of loops or coils to achieve the ideal result. It's not that there's one that's better than the other, it's just that certain times, for certain movements, you want to use one over the other. So I hope that gives you guys a little bit more insight of what closing loops are. If you had closing loops during your braces journey, please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can stay up to date with more videos like this. And as a reminder, follow me on Instagram so you guys can stay up to date with all of my content on there. I'm going to be showing cases like you guys have been asked for before and after, so it's going to be great. So with that being said, Dr. Greg, out. <laughs>